Hey everybody, it's your girl Allie and here we are back again for another week, another recap in the Chris Sane 100K Challenge. Shout out to everybody that's participating in the challenge. I always like to begin by giving a big shout out to Chris Sane for coming up with this great idea. Shout out to you, Chris. Uh, big up to everybody that's participating in the challenge. And thank you to those that have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, this is Allie's view that you're watching. And I'm Allie. Please hit that subscribe button, like this video. I'd love to have you as a member of the Allie's View family. Um, I always start out by letting you know what day it is. It is April the 10th in the year 2021. And let me begin by saying, this has been an adventure. This week for me has been an adventure. It's probably been one of the toughest weeks that I've had, honestly. Oh, I got into a couple of those plays, um, those option plays. Um, some of the ones that we saw um, that were, were introduced to us by Chris, and I just didn't get in and out of those things fast enough. Um, and so I ended up losing some money. Last week was not the best week for me um, when it comes to just this whole money thing. And I can tell you right now, I do not like to lose money. I like to win money. I like to earn money or I like to find money or have somebody give me money, but definitely not lose it. So I got to get my money back. Um, those decisions last week uh, just hindered my overall performance in some ways. So um, the SOS put didn't work for me. The city, um, city group option contract didn't really work for me. And then I had some other things going that were not the best. Uh, so wasn't, wasn't a good look. Wasn't a good look last week. Um, but we always like to talk about what's positive. And what is positive is I did go ahead and start to clear out some of the onesies in my account, started to clear out some of the stragglers. Um, that's what I'm now calling them. I just listed some of these onesies that I had in there and I sold them so that I could go ahead and start to buy in uh, to Palantir. I think I told you guys that I'm very, very interested in getting um, 125 shares of Palantir, PLTR. I really think that's going to be a part of the future. I've heard Chris talk about it and I've actually been doing some research on it myself, my own due diligence. Uh, and that, that stock I think is really going to be big, big, big when it does take off again and really start to sustain momentum and can keep growing. So I want to get into that. And there's several others that I want to get into right now. I've got positions built in IDX, BNGO, Ingenious, and I'm hoping they will take off and then help me to uh, get the kind of money that I need to continue to be able to grow. Uh, <clears throat> I do want to continue to put money towards my Tesla because you guys have heard me talk about Tesla. And that is definitely a stock that I want to own a few shares, but I have to start with one. And so I'm trying to get my one share in Tesla. And from there, I will go uh, and take off. I told you guys last week about a course that I'm taking where I'm trying to learn a little bit more about trading, um, learn the more technical aspect of it, um, the technical analysis side of it, and learning how to read charts and candles. Um, the course is by Terry Egioma. She's the instructor and she is phenomenal. I shared it with you guys last week. Um, she's a former educator. She was an assistant principal at a school and Terry decided that she wanted to be able to make a lot more money and she really enjoyed traveling and so one of the things that she did was she started taking a trading course and she learned how to trade and how to read candles and how to understand charts and um, now she's teaching other people and I decided to participate and take her course and I'm learning a lot still learning 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 um, Terry's goal is to teach everybody how to make a, a minimum of $1,000 a day. I mean, of course, she's made millions, and I mean millions with an S on the end. She was recently featured in Black Enterprise Magazine, um, by the way, and many of you probably have already heard about her. But anyway, I'm mentioning her to you, and if you're interested, there is a link in the description of this video that you can click and learn a lot more about uh, trade and travel, invest with Terry, Terry Egioma. I actually heard about her on a Karen Hunter show. Uh, shout out to Karen Hunter and Terry Ijeoma. Uh, and also, there is a link in the description for uh, free stock. If you don't already have a Robinhood account and you're interested in getting one, click the link in the description and you'll get a free stock and so will I. Um, if you haven't already liked this video, please hit um, the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a member of Allie's View. And uh, 
Thank you guys for stopping by. Those of you who have, without any further ado, let me let you see what's going on in my portfolio. We got to get this money back. We will get this money back. Have a great trading week. Okay, so we're inside of my portfolio. And as I share, you can see I'm down 10.05% for the week. Tough, tough week overall for me. Um, this is the end of week 14 in the Christine Challenge. Shout out to everybody that's participating in the challenge. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Like this video um, and share it. Uh, you can see where I am. Oh, and I do still have some more option contracts uh, that you can see here <clears throat> that I'm hoping something good will come of them by the end of the week. Uh, many of these expire on this coming Friday, so I'm really looking for miracles uh, by the end of the week. Hoping something positive will come out of some of these. Uh, <clears throat> especially this FTFT one here. Um, I was hoping that it would get up to 6.05. Uh, it's just been kind of trading sideways and actually going down instead of going up. Um, I do have... Uh, the genius you can see that one that was another one that i was hoping would go up and it's just kind of been trading sideways and going down so i may end up if it's not done anything by hasn't done anything by wednesday or thursday i'll get out of it hopefully it'll take off early in the week you can see i always talk about walgreens walgreens has just done horrible this last week um horrible i'm used to having at least 55 dollars year to date as my year to date return since i got this thing uh, and you can see I'm down five bucks for the year overall, so not doing good there. Um, I told you guys that I had gone in and did some cleaning house. I kept my Tesla, um, and you can see I have $200 worth of Tesla. I'm on the road to $677, and I know the stock price continues to go up. So I'm trying to get one share of Tesla. That, that's what I have my site set on. I would also like to get one share of PayPal. I'm a long ways away from PayPal, but I would like to get one share of that one. And I do want to, at some point, get into Square as well. <clears throat> uh, you can see I sold some of my dividend plays um, to start buying into the Palantir. Uh, I got 30 shares of Palantir. And you can see the total return is down $1 right now. But uh, you can see where I got in and... My hope is to go ahead and get this position built out and just let it ride. I'm still holding on to Mara. <clears throat> this was one of the stocks that I got at 11. I wish I had bought it when I saw it at like $6 and I uh, just built out 100, 100 shares back then. But anyway, still holding on to this one. And I got into Riot. <clears throat> you can see bought a couple of shares of that at 10 and it's done well for me. And I just decided not to sell those. Um, I did build out the IDX. I have 125 shares of the IDX. Um, just waiting for it to take off. Um, I have the BNGO. I skipped over that one. I didn't mean to skip over it. Got 100 shares of BNGO. And I'm looking forward to that one taking off. I still need to get 25 more shares in the BNGO. Uh, the Genius, you can see I... Got out of ZOM and bought into the GNUS. And of course, as you can expect, it started to drop. <clears throat> the price dropped. It's down to $1.80. I'm thinking about selling all of these and buying them back at $1.80. Um, so that when it does decide to go north, I'll make a little bit more money. But anyway, that's my genius. So those are the four positions that I have built out. Um, trying to get fuel cell built out before it runs, runs away from me. <clears throat> We'll see. Um, and I kept the Ocugen. I like this stock. I've told you guys that in the past. And so I just didn't get out of it because I like it. Um, and then those are some of the free ones. The ACB and the Sirius are free stocks. And then the Sundial. I'm still thinking about building that one out. So there's my portfolio now. Um, and then, of course, the Bitcoin and the Dogecoin and the Ethereum. So you can see where I stand now as far as what I own in stocks. I've got Tesla, PayPal, AT&T, Maine, CSWC, BGS, Planter, uh, Marathon, Patton, Riot, BNGO, IDX, Genius, Fuel Cell, Ocugen, 
Sundial, ACB, and Sirius. And that's what I've got. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I had a tough week last week in trading. And I'm looking for better days ahead. I'm always very optimistic. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. You are watching Allie's View.